was asked to draw the stereoisomers of 3-chloro-1-butene. I'm going to start by just drawing the butene for myself so I get a feel for what this question is even asking. Butene, the but is four carbons all connected to each other. Um, there's a double bond starting at carbon one. That's what the but the one butene means. And then the three chloro means that on one, two, carbon number three, I happen to have a chlorine atom. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Now I thought for a moment that I was gonna have cis and trans or E and Z isomers for this double bond, but no, because it's at the end, I just have two H's here. There are no cis and trans isomers there. We are actually just being asked for stereo isomers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for chiral centers. This carbon is connected to three things. It doesn't have any chirality to my knowledge. This carbon has four things connected to it. And actually all four of those things are different. One of them is a C2H3 group. One of them is a CH3 group, and one of them is a CL, and one's an H. Because all four of those are different, it means I do have chirality or a stereo center there. This carbon has three hydrogens on it. It's not a stereo center either. So all I have to do is worry about the, the, uh, the way that I'm orienting some things around this carbon. Okay. It's tetrahedral because there's four different things attached to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that C right here in the center. Now, I really don't want to have to draw this some weird way. So I'm going to do that um, straight like this. C, H, double bonded to a CH2. That's that chain, right? Now I also have a CH3 group and then I have an H and a CL. Now, the way you show stereo centers is to have one of them coming out at you. I'm going to choose for the CL to be there first. Didn't really matter, though, and have the H kind of going into the page. That's what these symbols mean, coming out at you and going into the page. Then the other isomer is the exact same arrangement. Let's see if I can do this properly. H2C. And then... I'm going to switch the two atoms that were coming out at me and going into the page, CL. These are actually non-superimposable mirror images, although I don't expect anyone to see that because of the way I drew it. Another option was to like have a mirror here and then copy it to the other side of the mirror. But this is it. One of these is the R enantiomer and the other one is the S enantiomer. And those are the two stereoisomers for this molecule. Step one, draw the molecule. Step two, find your stereo centers. Step three, draw all, well, two possible configurations around each of those stereo centers. Nice. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.